morning to one and all. It's been a while, isn't it? It's been a few days now, which ain't like me. <clears throat> I've just literally got out of the shower. I'm going to blow dry my hair, do my makeup. Uh, the boys have gone off to, let me just plug this in. The boys have gone off to a fishing tackle shop this morning. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to be preparing a big Sunday race for us all today. So it's going to be a nice cosy dinner today. I'll tell you what, it's really like autumn-y today. Let me just take you out. I don't know if it's really showing it now. It's really kind of, everything's sort of damp and stuff like that, you know. This is where we're waking up to. Next to the lake there, look. Apparently they actually had a rally here at the weekend or last week few days ago anyway yes I'm just gonna quickly try and get myself ready and crack on preparing some dinner this morning doing all my vegetable prep you know <laughs> point I just want to quickly say I've had so many people say to me Mazze you're using the wrong hairbrush so I've actually been using a proper tangle teaser for years and years and years that's all I've ever known um yeah I find they're really good and people were saying I need to get a natural bristle brush so I've actually ordered one on Timu should be arriving by the time we get back to campsite so we'll see it's probably not a like the most expensive this is only off timu and if i like it then i'll buy a proper one <laughs> i'll do for now time to get me makeup done there we go let's go and sit down um yes i wanted to just mention also if anyone watched my printer um, video, which was my last one, and if not, then why not? And get over and watch it. <laughs> um, which actually I've given to the lovely Sammy because she says she said on the comments, oh, she was looking at these because she wanted one for um, like scrapbooking and stuff. So I've given mine to Sammy. So that's found a good home. But a lot of people were like going off to buy it. <clears throat> Then I, funny enough, I actually got a message this morning saying um, they'd looked on Amazon in about like sixteen ninety nine or something, saying I'd gotten a good bargain. But I found I have actually found that with Amazon. This is why I don't do like you know like my cheapy sort of gadgets. I don't shop on Amazon really for them because they're the same products as Timu's got and all these cheap sites, but they're like triple the price, you know. <laughs> So yeah, just be, and also there was a lady saying, oh now I know there's a, there is websites to be careful of because Dan himself was even scammed with like a Chinese website. He then was sent like a cheapy necklace instead of the item and it took him a month of Sundays to try and fight it and get his money back. He got it, but another lady had the same experience, said, said that she'd been sent a cheapy necklace as well. In replacement of whatever she had ordered so yeah just be careful but you've all seen me I've, I've tested this Timu and that they're really actually good so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be scared of ordering anything from there I was initially which I was I've always have been whenever I sort of spend your money at a certain place that you've never shopped before like when I did boohoo hauls and stuff like that that was a bit nerve-wracking as well oh where's my mirror gone Right, let me find my mirror. So in a minute, I'm actually going to show you a, a lovely gift. The lovely Sammy has actually made me. It's so nice. Now, when we were in um, Chroma, last week it was, we'd bought some stuff out of this shop. But then when we got out, I, I saw this lovely little bag in the window. I was like, oh, I need to go and get that. It said 20 quid on the tag. And I thought, oh, that's really nice. JP straight away was like, no, nah, Sammy can make that. And she has, it's identical, but not identical. Sammy's one is 100% a lot nicer. And then that way then I actually got to choose the wool. So I went, we went off and picked a nice bull wool. 
so we've got some it's in a nice color as well let me just finish this and then I can show you just trying to get, oh, get ready really before before the boys come back so I've at least even got a few minutes to myself look at this look this is gorgeous now she'd actually initially finished it last week but there was a little problem I'll tell you about it in a minute look at this look how gorgeous this is this is so like to carry my my knickknacks basically look she has actually made that look how gorgeous it is and ain't that wool that color I mean she's done all the trimming on the I want to call it piping is it called piping she's put lots of love into that so last week well it was when she initially made it the handle was like that size but I really wanted to wear it like over there like that you know and keep like my phone and stuff like that in there and me my knickknacks and stuff so thank you so much Sammy it's gorgeous she actually tied this on there last night which is actually the sting on that all um, bracelet that JP had made me and this button has actually come off one of pe uh, JP's pair of shorts so <laughs> yeah I'm looking forward to using that oh she's so skillful and oh I'm just so grateful so that was such a lovely gift that was I did actually get her a lovely gift as well not because she was making that actually funny enough I don't know if JP's shown it in his videos or not I don't know so we did get her a lovely gift too <laughs> actually a very nice gift i wanted to get one myself but um i thought oh no it's a bit too expensive <laughs> just to splash out on me i don't mind splashing out on other people you know right let me finish off anyway yes yeah, so we we are here in norfolk the lovely jp and sammy we arrived yesterday Initially we planned to stay yesterday and today, but um, who's to say we can't stay longer? I think we might stay longer, because to do two days, on the first day you're arriving, it's a bit, you know, you're, you're short stay then, isn't it? So we might consider staying longer. Um, yeah, what's for tea tonight then? Oh, hold on. So for tea we've got roast beef, roast potatoes mashed potatoes parsnips sprouts roasted carrots baby carrots uh, what else oh i'm gonna make a homemade cauliflower cheese as well and um i'm going to show you how i do it this time because i had so many people the last time was like but how did you make it how did you make it and all i replied is basically i've done it so many times on a video but I won't go into too much detail. I'll just show you how I do it. Everyone does things different. Right. Yep, yeah, nice cosy day for a roast beef dinner today. I've been craving roast beef. Haven't had it for years. No, years. Well, I haven't made it for years. But actually, the last time we did get to sort of like have a carvery, I did actually choose beef. But yeah, I've been craving it. Mm -hmm thing is though it's just gone so mad now the price of meat in it is well I know everything has but our little joint was um I think it was 17 odd quid it is organic but yeah very expensive right the fans clean I'm clean I'm done I might just go and put a clip or something in my hair I think I might like to sort of keep it down today we'll see um let's go and get all my vegetables out so I can stop preparing right that's the start of it <laughs> uh, I will be putting the meat back in I'm just showing you what we got so we've got parsnips we're gonna have cauliflower cheese look at the size of this thing this is humongous and it wasn't till I got it, I think it was £1.90, it said extra large. I don't need that amount, that's massive. So I usually actually, when I'm doing my um, cauliflower cheese, I always use this, my Pyrex dish. But I'm thinking I might actually use one of those because that can be sometimes a little bit difficult to wash up afterwards. So we do have all the sort of trimmings. I'm going to be making roasties, mash, we've got 
beef dripping Yorkshire Perds. We've got two packs of piggies in blankies. I bought the stuff in today, just thought it'd be easier, and sometimes it's actually nicer anyway. And this is the beef we got. So it's organic roasting joint, it's topside. It actually cost £16.46. So I did think it was a bit more than that, but it is a tiny bit, isn't it? I mean, that's horrendously expensive. So I'm just going to start basically putting all the meat back in the fridge. And um, still actually still actually got some leftover meat from the barbecue yesterday. It's, it's in the fridge. All right, is that all the meat? That's all the meat. Put it in there. And start on some veg. So I think the first thing I'm going to start on is the cauliflower and broccoli. And the way to measure how much you want is just put it in there dry and then boil it up, pre-boil it. So let me just grab a paper plate. Yes, I use paper plates for chopping boards. I have actually got a new chopping board now, but I don't, oh, excuse me, but I don't actually have it with me. So let's bring it down a little bit so you can see what's going on. It's only vegetable chopping. Yeah not really going to be filming much of this but i will try i mean the whole dinner i mean gosh i don't know where to start with it it's massive <laughs> all right Got the first bit off so just make them into small f florets is that the word florets fill up your trim off any sort of nasties though this one looks really good today so sometimes now the vegetables from like the supermarkets I don't know they're in such poor condition it's it's horrendous so I've only hardly touched that really but I think that's enough so I'm just getting my measurements on this all this will be rinsed um if anything that's quite a bit and I'm just now going to chop up some of that I feel a bit quiet today I'll tell you why we've had such a mad couple of weeks now how long we've we been gone for um what day is it yeah it's getting on two weeks now and it's just been really really good I'm all sort of like partied out, so to say. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been really, really nice. I've been absolutely enjoyed it. That's why I think we might extend our stay, you know? Got no commitment to go back and stuff. And if you're enjoying yourself, why what, why fix what's not broke, so to say? <laughs> right, this is where now I do trim a lot of this off. I don't like the white bits like that, you know? So I tend to trim a lot of that bit off. There we go, so just put them into bite-sized pieces. It's nice if you can mix the two. I like to mix the two. Gives a variation, doesn't it? And considering now all then we've got today is Brussels sprouts as a sort of uh, secondary uh, veg. We'd, we are going to have carrots, but I'm going to roast those. Because I'm not a big fan of carrot carrot if that makes sense i love i love a raw carrot gosh i could eat one of them instead of a bag of crisps raw carrots are, are oh they're lovely so i think i'm actually going to use all this um broccoli might not even be enough really but it'll do yeah i'm gonna definitely use all this Dan's been a while. I don't know what time it's now. I know the shop opened at half eight. <coughs> it's 9.40 now. Um, yeah, the shop opened at half eight. I think they went about quarter to nine or something like that. I think it's about half an hour away though. So I'm sure they're having fun. <laughs> right, I'm nearly done with this. 
Well, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. <laughs> it's my saying. <laughs> oh, talking of gifts, and I'm he hearing my bangle sort of uh, smashing on the worktop. Look at my bracelet. I lovingly got made this. Look at it, look. It's all kind of stretched. I don't really know what's happened to it. But I have not taken that off since the day I've been given that. So I feel like I've had me, you know, my wear out of it. But maybe I shouldn't have worn it like that. Maybe I should have taken it off sort of now and again. Right, so that's that. That's going to be a massive <laughs> cauliflower cheese. Right, let me just show you what's what. Right, so they have all my scrappy bits. I don't like the white bits, I do cut them off. So what I'm going to do is actually now remove the colli uh, the broccoli because they're going to cook at different times. And I need to rinse it all as well. Just chuck your broccoli, because you're going to parboil all this. So I've had to actually put the cauliflower in a bigger saucepan. There's a lot of it today. <sighs> we'll get them on the boil because you can actually pre-make this and it's going to be absolutely fine and then shove it in the oven a bit later on. So quite a bit has actually happened since the last time I've put the camera on. I've got the carrots on the boil. They're nearly actually done. I've actually done the parsnips, which are now actually in the um, oven. Because I always struggle with oven space, so I'm deciding I'm going to prep some of the um, oven-y spits today. So I'm, anyway, I'm about to do the cauliflower cheese. This is cooling down now. Um, it's quite a lot there, quite a lot. So first things first basically is just make a roux, melt a load of butter, you're going to need a flour, milk and a bit of salt and pepper, make your roux and then some cheese. Big tip though, apparently to make a roux you're always supposed to use a wooden spoon and believe it or not I've tried all sorts of utensils and it does actually work the best. So we're just going to cook the butter out and then add some flour. I might turn that heat up a tiny, but not too much. The, the trick of making actually a decent roux is actually um, don't rush it. Always keep the heat on very low and do it nice and slowly, like add in your flour to it and stuff like that. Do it nice and slowly and add it, not, not so much the flour, but I mean the milk, sorry. So I did actually add a bit more butter because I'm actually looking to make quite a lot of roux today. White sauce is basically what it is. All right, add your flour. Now the reason you have to go slow with the milk is so you're not gonna get lumps. You have to kind of make this into like, I'll show you when it gets to the consistency. Now I don't know my quantities, I just cook the way I cook, <laughs> so I can't really say. Right, that, sh that should do it. Right, this is sort of the consistency now you're wanting, where it all comes to a boil, uh, a ball, like at the bottom of your pan, you see that? And you just want to cook that out for a, few, a minute or two, and then slowly start adding your milk. Keep stirring because that's going to help prevent getting the lumps. All 
Right, okay, so it's time to start adding milk. Nice and slow. And for those who don't actually know what I'm making here, it's it's a white sauce basically. Just a tiny bit, that was a, probably a bit too much. It's a white sauce, you can use it for fish dish, dish, fish dishes, <laughs> pasta dishes, you can turn it into a cheese sauce, which that's what I'm making today, cheese sauce. There we go, nice and slow. Don't rush this stage. <laughs> Tiny, whiny little bit more. Right, there we go. So I've made the cheese sauce. I've added about half a cup, a cup of grated cheese into that. Now this is actually the same sauce I would make making a homemade lasagna. So it looks a bit lumpy at the minute, but that cheese is going to melt. And you definitely need a tiny bit of salt in that and cracked pepper. So I've still got it on a low heat. I'm just going to melt that cheese down. And there we go. Now that's actually quite a thick sauce. You can make it as thick and thin or thick as thin as you like. Now for the last little trick of this, you can, this is optional, add a teaspoon of horseradish, which I tend to like doing, or you could use mustard, or you could use a bit of both. So I'm not gonna use a full teaspoon of mustard. I'm just gonna use that much just to give it that nice color. I wouldn't do this for a cheese sauce, making it for a lasagna, only when I'm doing cauliflower cheese. Look how wonderful that looks. Yep, yeah, nice thick sauce this one. Cheese still needs melting, some bits of cheese still needs melting in it. All right, let's get this on the cauliflower cheese. I've had med enough. Let me move that back. I'm going to have to move your back. Right, at this point, I'm just going to give it a quick little stir. Just move it about, make sure it all gets covered. done with being thinner I suppose but it will be grand right and to finish off just the grating of cheese just the light one And I'm going to then actually do lighting of mozzarella as well. Yeah, and that's that. That's all prepared now. So I'm at the stage of preparing the roasties. These have been parboiled. And this is my one big tip I've been telling everyone for years. So you can either sprinkle on flour or a semolina. Semolina is probably the better one, but it don't it don't actually matter actually. Flour does just as good as job as well. And this is going to make your roasties really crispy. And don't forget to shake them up and fluff them up. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to dump that on the hot fat now. I'm actually trying to 
the gas still on? No, I'm actually trying to slowly start, start sort of preparing oven -y bits because, let me just get in the oven. To do everything at once can be a hard task. So I haven't got the meat on yet, but if I can get all these kind of prepared, brilliant job. Let's turn them over, make sure they're in the fat. And actually, I'm gonna put some more fat on there. I've got some, is it goose fat? Um, yes, goose fat, the best. I'm gonna put add a little bit more onto that. So I do just at this point want to pick up on a comment I'd got. Um, somebody was interested for her mum uh, what pans I had, and they're just tea fowl ones. I've literally had these. Oh, I guess 15 years actually. So I um, think these are the pans you were talking about, but yeah, they're tea fowl ones. Right, there we go. I'm just dishing up the last meal, which is mine. Dan's filming out there. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. So they've all looked the same loads of leftovers and everybody's out enjoying their meal you enjoying your meal oh my god Amazing. 